What's up everybody, it's your boy Mim here. Uh, I just went to graduation rehearsal a little bit ago and I'm about to graduate. Um, graduation rehearsal was at 10am this morning and uh, graduation is at 8. I'm supposed to show up at 7 but we're going to eat a little bit before. Um, I'm really happy, uh, you know, I'm happy I'm graduating, I'm happy the ceremony's happening. Something I'm not happy about is what happened in graduation rehearsal. My graduation's gonna be weird! Um, so basically, I was with my friend, right? Um, and I had thought... So what was told to me on, um, the last day of school, which was on Friday, um, by my sixth period literature teacher... No. Maybe it wasn't on Friday, I think it... I think it may have been on Thursday. What was told to me by my, uh, sixth period literature teacher on Thursday was that during graduation rehearsal, um, you would be able to, uh, pick who you're sitting next to during graduation and you'll be able to pick, uh, who you walk with, right? And I was like, okay, so I'll go to graduation rehearsal, I'll pick who I walk with and I'll pick, um, who I'm gonna sit with. Cool. Um, and so I show up to graduation rehearsal today, right? And everybody's like, okay, everyone, choose your partner. You can't sit with your partner. Choose your partner, you can't sit with them. You'll walk up on stage with them and then walk down. And I was like, okay, I, I, I'm not sitting next to my partner. But, um, you know, I had walked to, um, I had walked to graduation rehearsal with my buddy. Um, and I wanted my buddy to be the one sitting next to me during graduation. I didn't want to walk up on stage with my buddy, right? Um, because I wanted to sit next to him. And you can't do both. You can't sit next to them and go off on stage. You have to do one or the other, right? And so, um, uh, basically, they were like, oh, okay, now everybody, so after, I don't know why, I think I was a little distracted. I don't know why I didn't hear this. Um, I am, I don't, I don't know why I didn't hear this, but, um, we went out, um, so everybody was like, go up and get your partners and go out into this hallway, right? Um, and so I texted my buddy, hey, I'm gonna, um, go and ask someone a question and then I'm gonna, um, go meet with you, right? And then we're gonna go out to the hallway and he's like, okay. So I go up to someone, I walk up to them, I say, hey, what do I do if I want to sit next to someone? When I, if I want to sit next to someone while we're graduating, what do I do, right? And they say, the person you sit next to will be the people in front of you or behind you in the hallway. When there are people in front of you or behind you in the hallway, that's who you'll sit next to. And I said, okay, cool. So I got up into the hallway, and then there's one big line of people on one end of the hallway, and then on the other side of the hallway, there's another end of people looking at looking, they're looking at each other. Like, one end of the people have, like, one end of the hallway has uh, a line of people looking at the other line of hallway, uh, other line of people, which is at the other end of the hall, and they're both looking at each other, right? And that's very strange, because nobody is in front or behind of anyone. I'm like, oh, what, you know, I'm, I'm rather confused because this woman said, oh, if you want to sit in front of or behind someone, you stand in front of them or behind them. And I was like, okay, I'll stand in front of or behind of my buddy. But then I go out, it's impossible to do that because nobody's, nobody's standing in a way to where you can stand in front of or behind them. So I walk up to Riley, I'm like, man, I guess, you know, I, they say you can't um, go, you, they say you can't sit next to each other. Um, and I'm pretty stressed out because I, I don't know what's going on. I, you know, what is right in front of me is the exact opposite of what I was just told. Um, and, and, you know, I walk up to my buddy, I'm like, hey, um, I don't know what's happening. Do you want to talk to someone about what to do, or do you uh, want to um, go back, right? Do, do you want to do you want to talk to someone about what to do, or do you want to just be partners and go up on stage uh, together and not sit next to each other? And he says, I don't know. And I'm like, what do you want to do? Tell me. And he's like, I don't know. And I ask him, what do you want to do? Um, and he and I'm just like, pick something, just say something. And then he's like, ask ask someone. So um, my buddy asks at it goes to the other side of the hallway, right? And I'm standing there. And then as the line is starting to is starting to go together like a zipper, um, I ask someone, hey, what am I supposed to do if I want to sit next to someone? And then they're like, oh, it's too late. The, actually, the person you wanted to sit, the people you wanted to sit next to would be next to you. You're going to be looking, you, the thing was that you were going to be looking at your partner, and then next to you would be the two people that you sit next to. That, and that's not what was told to me. Apparently, when the line folds up together like a zipper, um, your partner and you are going to be sitting next to each other, the people behind you are going to be sitting next to you, and the people in front of you are going to be sitting next to you. So, when I asked that usher, hey, um, how am I going to sit next to my buddy? Uh, they weren't referring to line number one, which was on one side of the hallway, or line number two, which is on the other side of the hallway. They're referring to line number three, which combines the two lines and has people in front of and behind you. 
um, which was just very confusing uh, because when I had walked out into the hallway, that is not what the case was. Um, and you had to like wait like five minutes and you had to like, it, it, it was all very strange. Um, so sadly, I'm not gonna be able to do what I had planned this whole week, um, you know, during graduation, which is something that only happens once, you know, my entire life. Um, and instead I'm gonna have to like, like, um, go like, like go up on stage with my buddy which is not what i had planned i i don't care who i go up on stage with i want to sit next to him but i can't now uh because uh someone lied to me so you know um uh yeah so something else happened uh we, you know we ended up walking home i was very very distraught at the fact that i couldn't um sit next to my buddy um because that's not what i had planned um and i was kind of freaking out uh but i got home you know i finished up my minecraft server stuff and uh you know i'll elaborate on that later Actually, I'll elaborate on that now. Before I had gone to graduation rehearsal, um, something had happened where I was trying to reset the outer end islands, and I was thinking, oh, um, really good idea. I'm just gonna um, ask Bing to make me a script that will delete all the region files in the end world, um, except for these specific ones that hold the main end island, because I wanted to keep the main end island and delete uh, the outer islands. So then people can go end rating, but the stuff that people build in the main end area won't disappear, right? So I asked Bing to make me a script. Uh, didn't work it just deleted all the region files um which is why you shouldn't use ai for things um but uh yeah so i was like man that's irritating so you know i just uh was unzipping a backup while i was at graduation rehearsal and then when i got back i um just moved the files over and you know the servers back up so that was me finishing up server stuff um and i also was able to update um uh paper uh something i always do whenever i reset end chunks is i um go onto this, um, I use this plugin called Chunky, and that pre-generates all the end chunks. Something that's happening is if someone is in the end and they're exploring all, all the end cities and they're on an elytra and they're using rockets, they're going very fast throughout the end and they're generating completely new chunks constantly, right? And uh, something that occurs when that happens is that sort of ruins the experience for everyone else uh, because the server is so um, busy reloading all of these chunks for um, uh, this person flying through the end, uh, that it's kind of difficult to process anything else that anybody else is doing on the server. So everyone kind of lags out, all the entities are kind of weird, um, and you know, items take a while to drop, it's like a big thing. So you have to pre-generate the chunks. You have to generate all of the chunks in a big concentric circle around the main end island, um, as if people have been there when they haven't. So then, when people are flying through, uh, they aren't generating new chunks, and the world just has to like serve them to you instead of creating new chunks, uh, you know, with the CPU. Um, so, um, yeah, so now I'm doing that, and the ETA is around, like, five hours or something. I haven't looked. Uh, yeah, the ETA is about eight hours. Yeah, it's going around 344 chunks per second. Yeah. Um, third thing, and this is the craziest thing, I need to drink some water, I have a headache. Um, sorry, when I was describing the chunk generation, I described it as a concentric circle around the main end island. It's not concentric, it's just one circle. Um, check this out. I got, you can't see that. I got AirPods Pro 2. New ones. Uh, here's something horrible that happened. Are they in my pocket? Where are my AirPods? Here you go. I dropped these way too much. Uh, they're my old AirPods first generation, and I dropped them way too much. And now they don't work. Uh, well, the case doesn't work. Um, the AirPods themselves work. They connect and work just fine. It's just that um, the case only charges the AirPods when the case is plugged in. So if the case isn't plugged in, it doesn't charge the AirPods. They just die in my pocket. Um, so I was very distraught over this. I have AirPods in all the time. I'm always listening to something, right? And I was, you know, just sort of, it was so annoying to me to where it just sort of passively came up in every conversation with my parents uh, because, you know, Every time I'd speak with my parents, I just recently used my AirPods, and something I was just recently doing was being interrupted every time I was doing it, because, you know, something would be wrong with it. I kept having to take my mom's. Um, when she forgot them at the house, it was horrible. So, I got some AirPods Pro 2 right here. And, right here, I've also got a case. I've got a case for my AirPods. So first, we're gonna open this. Um... I have an idea. I'm way underexposed now, but check this out.
Whoa, I'm all laggy. Okay, wait. No, I can't do that. Okay. Wait, can I force a frame rate? Let's see. Oh, it's already forced. Okay, oh well. Okay, let me turn my exposure down. There we go. Okay, we're kind of back to normal. I was worried about my um, products being overexposed like this when they face the sun, but uh, I guess I'll just sort of keep, I'll keep them down here, I guess. Um, tear it perforation to open. Okay. Yeah, so protective AirPods cover, ESR. I got this one in particular. Apparently this one is the best case um, for AirPods because, oh, it has a smell to it, um, because, something fell. That's oh, like a little brush. Because it has little magnets in the case, supposedly. I'm sorry, this isn't an unboxing channel. There's this plastic ring around here. I'm not sure how to get it off. I feel like a stupid person. Do I just take it off? What? It... There we go. Oh, there's like a weird plastic thing inside of here. And then here's the actual case itself. I wonder if I can remove this lanyard. You know what, maybe I'll like the lanyard. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, okay, okay, let's see. Oh, now, now, now that I've unboxed this, let me put all the trash away. Let me unbox the AirPods now. Uh, Apple products have this crazy uh, packaging to prevent shrink wraps. Uh, they have like these little arrows that you peel. Um, there you go. There you go. And my last AirPods were the AirPods Pro 1, which were actually given to me by my parents uh, because they got AirPods Pro 2. And these are AirPods Pro 2. Let's keep the vibe. Something fell over there. Um, designed by Apple in California. Made in China though. Or probably India now. Oh, they have a smell to them as well. They have like, an, like a they smell like a dentistry office. Um, but yeah, here they are. Um, and then I think they just slide out down here. There we go. Ta-da. Hey there. No. Oh, let me um, connect them to my phone. Cool. I think they're connected. Yeah, they work. Okay, cool. Um, now I'm gonna put the case in here. So apparently this just goes in through friction. Oh yeah, that, oh, ooh, that's in there. Okay, yeah. Um, and then this top bit, let me wipe off the top here. Are we good here? Is it on there? Yeah, okay, that works. 
They're big now, though. Check this out. Remember how small they were before? Man. And they have magnets on the inside. You kind of see them. They're like... They're like... You gotta, like, put some effort in there to open them. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy about this. Uh, the lanyard's interesting. I can uh, certainly remove the lanyard, uh, but we'll see how I like it. If you want to have your AirPods connected to your wrist for some reason. Um, I've heard they're easier to actually pull out of your pocket. Oh yeah, okay. I, I, yeah, okay. I think I like the lanyard. Let's see if I can sit down with them. Oh yeah, I can sit down. Okay. I was worried because whenever I sit down, the AirPods, I don't like sit on my AirPods, but the AirPods kind of go to the side. Um, and that's sort of happening here. It's like bigger, so it's like a little more comfortable. It's strange. Um, we'll see. We'll see how I like sitting on them, but um, yeah. Under here, there's actually more, more ear tips. So you would, there's like a little illustration here. Okay. Yeah, you would lift up and you have your ear tips in here. Maybe your charging cable, which I'm not gonna open right now because we already have some. Um, and yeah, that's the experience. And gradu graduation's at like eight. We're gonna eat before though. So. Um, all right. Um, Graduation. Uh, yeah. All right. See you, dude.